Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome. It is Anna here, and today I want to continue to work on this little journal that I all of a sudden started calling Cora. Since the story is about uh, the coral island, and <laughs> for me that became Cora, and I will probably put something on the front to, you know, make it look like a lady. I don't know. Uh, we have picked out some papers for the journal. Some tea dye papers, some writing paper, and a few pages from other books. Uh, I have a few more, two more books here that I want to incorporate. This is an old book from 1806. That's my new thing, using really old books. And I want to get a folio out of here somehow. It is sewn in in the most strange way. The signature is here. Uh, it's almost impossible to see where they, where they are sewn in. and ship this but I want to get the folio out somehow here I have some signature threads maybe I can somehow put some more those threads are tough oops I can tell you the book is falling apart more and more. This will also be made into a journal one day and I will happily make a new spine for it or reinforce the old one. Look, we got it. That will have to be reinforced with some washi tape. 1806. I want to write that in pencil down here. And I have decided to have five signatures in each, five folios in each signature, I mean. <laughs> and here I have one, two, three, four, so this one as well. This is adorable little songbook from Denmark from 1834. And this is something that I write now love using. I have been using it in almost every journal I started since I bought this one because it is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Ah, there's a center. Perfect. Let's see if I can get it out. Oh, I don't want to break the book. This book will make it Fantastic journal one day. How about that? I'm using these pointy little scissors. Also have to be reinforced. 1834, like that. So now we have five of those as well. Now I want pages from the original book, original text block. Last time it gutted itself, it just fell out all the pages, and I have reinforce the spine with some fabric and it is nice and floppy again and beautiful hinges so let's see what we want to use here 
uh, I can tell right away that this paper is awful. It might be good enough to back something with, but that might be it. And this is already glued to another page. I don't know. Maybe I can do something with that. I can. I will see. So this is the only illustration of the book, so I want to incorporate it somehow. But I'm not sure how, because it is in a horrible state. Um, yeah, my guess is that, well maybe not, maybe not these two, but some pages will glue together. I might have to back this with some tea dye paper or something. I don't know. I will incorporate it, but not as a folio, obviously. Uh, I want this. This is the original first page. Ooh, that is also falling apart. That will have to be backed with something. I'm just trying to see what oh, the papers are in a horrible state. Those can't be used. Yeah, I want to use them. I'm going to use them, but we'll have to do something with them. Or something that's one <laughs> folio the contents that's good and uh, first pre the huh the preface and the first page so that is two let's see if we can get those up that's three oh I see washi tape coming or maybe tea dye paper. Three. Three photos. So two more of this. I'm sorry, but I think this is... I, I'm, this might actually be the worst paper I have ever encountered. So this will be a glue book later. Because I cannot put this in... Oh, I want that. This in um, books. And expect it to hold up. Just snip the threads here. I'm gonna get a couple of extra because you can back them with each other, but this one has to be the last one. I will fold that the other way, and that will be the end page. Perfect. Let's get this out of the way because this will not be used, I think. So, maybe not that one either. So let's see what we have. We have one, two, three, four, and one more. Five. So I have five signatures there. Those can be used some way else. And now I'm gonna I'm gonna fix this. <laughs> Let me get some washi tape so I can uh, Reinforce the folds here. Uh, what do I want for she tape? I'm just looking at my big wall of washi and I think I don't want the thin ones because I think there won't be enough. I want the normal width. Um, do I have one? That's good. I'm trying to use up my washi tape. I don't have said it before, but I want to use it up so that I yeah, don't have to throw it out because I have lots of it. I like this one. It's kind of a, I don't know, some text and things. And I don't trust the washi tape, so I am going to run it over my Yoohoo glue stick. And this I will have to use washi tape both sides, obviously. 
So I am. That was not good. Let's put that to the side. Is that tape so bad? Or did I pull it wrong? Even it up. Oh, it's not good at all. I think it's been cut crookedly. Luckily, this was in one of those you know, packs you can buy with, with lots of washi tapes. Yeah, it's doing the same thing. Okay, let's get rid of that one. Here's another one. Let's see if that one's better. Beige. I don't have any luck today. My washi luck is gone. So let's see if I can even it out a bit. And it's gonna work, yes. So let's run the of the glue. Over. And I saw someone that used lots and lots of Edith Holden pages for this, uh, for reinforcing the paper. And the Edith Holden books are usually very strong paper. So I might do that. I'll have to see. So that's one that is a bit better. This doesn't look as bad. I still want to reinforce it at least as once one side of the fold. That's two. And I don't think I need to use the both. Use wash on both sides here. One side will be enough. So that is two. Same here. One side is enough. And let's do. There we go. Three. And four. I know this is, might not be the most fun thing to watch, but I promise to make this book start to finish. So this is part of the process. And uh, I will show you the process. There you have it, all five signatures. All five photos are reinforced in the folds of them. Like that. Let's do this as well if I need it. This one needs a bit of reinforcement, but I think I can do with a thinner washi tape because it's so close to the the text is so close to the fold, and I don't want to cover up the text. So I am using one of my thinner some flowers on it. Vintage looking thing. Like that. And as usual, if you hear strange screaming, it's just my son who is playing with his friends. Playing video games. Or Nintendo games or whatever it is. One. Let me do this one as well. Two. 
Mm, it's interesting, those books are so much older and still in fantastic shape. It's almost a hundred years between this book and this book, and this is so much better quality paper. But I am guessing that is, uh, you know, you are more cost efficient uh, that time. And you had to, you were on a budget a bit more. All right, that's Emperor Augustus. I forgot about him. So, I, no, I really have gone the extra mile on these. They won't break. the signatures together I'm gonna put in some tea dyed paper some foot page and we have some writing page paper down here like this and I will have to find something else to put in here as well because though those are not too big two Signatures are done, or not done, I will have to find something else, and then just trying to start to get them together, you know. Three. Signatures. Let me see how. Oh, yes, I can easily put at least one or two pages more in each signature. Perfect. So, all I have to do is to find them. <laughs> uh, this will go in somehow. I might cut that down and make it into a flip. You know, I love my flips. I have this guy cut out from an old magazine and I feel that he wants to go in here somehow somehow he wants to be here back in there though yeah I don't know uh, I want him in there and then I have uh, I have some Beatrix Potter and I feel like he should be in, in this book. And I also feel like the text pages you can use for something fun. So I have another, this is like the fly leaves, I believe, of the same book. I have tea dyed the whole bunch. And my thought was to uh, sew them together, the text only page and that one. And sew them like this and then make a notch and you have a little pocket there that could be fun i'm not the first one to do that and i have done it many times before but i think i will do that so i will um, glue that onto here and i think i want to cut it a little bit before i make my notch the side that it already 
really straight because I want to I want to um, keep this ragged side. So I'm going to get my art glitter glue and glue that down and I don't want it to get all the way to the fold that's why I took it off took it off because then it bulks up the, the fold of the, of the um, that's being sewn in to the signature. So I'm just going to run my glue on three sides like that. Don't forget to put the pin in and then I'm going to glue that down. to get rid of the glue that boosts out. There you go. And let's make a notch there. Right away so I don't forget that it's a pocket. I should feel it since it's bulky, but hold it for at least a bit. I also want to sew that on the machine. going somewhere. Let's put it in the second signature somewhere. and what else do I want? Hmm. I have some ideas but I'm gonna have to pick up the books for that. Uh, I think I want to end this video actually. And I want to, oh, do I want that? Yes, I do. Um, and put these in the book press overnight and see how compact they get. And then I will also go on the hunt for some more pages. And also have some, I want to have pockets. I want to have more pages. I want to extend some flips. I have some ideas. Yeah. But, and you will come along with me if you want. Because I will be filming it. So, oh, I love that. And that will be all for today. That was today's work on the signatures. Not much, but a bit. We are slowly making process. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, write any comments down below or say hi. I would say hi back. If you haven't subscribed already, uh, I would be very happy if you did. Uh, I post John John related content a couple of times a week. So that will be all for today. Have a great week. Bye.